everyone, we're back. With, uh, I'm Raul with R&D Moving and Storage Supplies. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about some shipping skills, some uh, shipping techniques. Uh, I'm talking about packing for shipping technique, okay? Uh, we very often have customers come to see us and ask us, I want to ship something. I want to put. I want to find the best way. The best way to do it. I want to. I want you to show me the best way to do it. A lot of very often they ask us, should I use peanuts? Peanuts being uh, loose fill, which is this stuff, this white stuff here, and they are like little peanuts. They look almost like peanuts. Very very light, fluffy little things, and uh, it's sometimes is is one of the common products used for shipping. But a, a misconception that people have is if, if I put a, a, let's say I fill this box with peanuts and stick my shipping package in there, it's going to arrive there perfectly safe, right? It's going to be stuck in the middle nicely and uh, it's going to be surrounded by little peanuts, loose fill, which is going to keep it bouncing nice and fluffy all the way. Uh, they don't realize is that depending on the kind of product you're shipping, the, the product can actually make its way through, let's, just, let's assume you put a bottle inside and the bottle is going to make its way through the peanuts because the peanuts they allow the product to travel through and before you know it it's about the other products at the bottom that bottle will be at the bottom of the box somebody drops the box a little too hard and boom there goes the bottle now let me explain how peanuts can be used uh, most effectively in order to how they can be used and how you can do it effectively to get your product across safely okay so let's assume you have this box right and you're filling it up with peanuts, with loose fill, and you, for your product. Let's say something like this, right? This product is going to travel, it's going to shake in, the, in between the peanuts, it's going to make its way down to the bottom of the box. So by the time it, uh, by the time it reaches even halfway through the process of shipping, it's already going to be attached to the bottom of the box. As I mentioned, that somebody drops a box a little too hard, boom. Let's say Newman meets this box along the way, you know, Newman from Seinfeld, you will... <laughs> The thing is going to be cracked, glass gone, bone, done. So that wouldn't really work. However, let's just assume that you have this, uh, you, you uh, have peanuts for the box. You fill halfway the box with peanuts. You throw this package in between and you fill the rest of the box with peanuts. This will arrive there perfectly safely because it doesn't make its way through. And the peanuts have no way of making it up. As you can see, it's about the same size of the box, same diameter. So the, the, the peanuts will hold the, the, product, the product perfectly leveled in the middle. So it's not going to slide anywhere. It's going to be perfectly safe, okay? So when it comes to something like that, perfect. Also, customers ask us, should I use bubble instead of loose fill? That's ideal. You can, use loose, you can wrap this product, let's say, with bubble, fill it up with peanuts, and then put the, the, this wrapped up in bubble in the, between the peanuts. So although it can make its way to the bottom, the bubble will protect it, will not, will give a cushioning that will not allow it to crack, Pro protect the top and protect it all, all around. So the peanuts supply uh, su protection all around the box and the bubble that's surrounding this product will su uh, supply uh, insulate, uh, protection for the top and the bottom. That would be a solution, okay? Same with this, you can, although it fits perfectly there, if you want to add extra protection, by all means, use the bubble. But the point to take home here is that uh, when using peanuts, this loose fill, this product, loose fill product, the one that I showed you, make sure that the product that you're putting in the box is not going to make its way to the bottom. Because with the shaking, the product, if, like I said, a bottle, for example, or this lantern, it will make its way to the bottom. Okay, so the peanuts are very useful when you use a product that will not make its way through. That will, that way, the peanuts protect and offer protection on both sides. Okay. So that's one thing. Another one is, uh, again, by coming back to these loose fill peanuts. A lot of people aren't aware that there's two, there's two kinds of peanuts. Uh, uh, there's two, two, two types of products. There's the, the styrofoam peanuts and there is the uh, biodegradable degradable peanuts. These peanuts are uh, made, I believe, of corn, of corn starch which allows them to disintegrate into nature uh, when the, the packaging is completed, when the shipping is completed. Um, I'm not sure if you ever received a, a box with this, uh, filled with these little guys. Uh, they're a pain in the butt. They fly everywhere. They're very, very light. 
but uh, most importantly you cannot uh, dispose of them uh, they don't disintegrate very easily so you basically have to dispose them in a recyclable fashion um, so a lot of people are going towards these other ones these, uh, these bi biodegradable ones because again they disintegrate uh, very nicely now this benefits to both because for example let's say the, the package meets the rain along the way okay these guys will be perfectly fine because they don't melt biodegradable <laughs> they melt fairly quickly let me show you something okay we have a, a glass of water we have one of those biodegradable peanuts okay I put it in the water Whee! it's floating away nicely floating away nicely and you see if I keep dipping it dipping it dipping it it slowly disappears the size it starts melting away let's see how quickly we can get rid of this guy starts going away it's already disintegrating disintegrating becoming very soft very very sticky so you see it goes let's see how long it's been what 10 seconds more more I'm going to show you how quickly this thing disappears okay see that there so if the package meets meet humidity along the way those is biodegradable peanuts they will disintegrate and uh, by the time it gets to the other side they're a little wrinkly <laughs> they're little meanwhile these guys you can mistake them in as much as you want they never disintegrate they don't disintegrate obviously in time nature takes care of all all things right but these other guys they don't disintegrate they're as strong as they're, they're going to be so you got to think of both sides okay a lot of people are very very uh, nature conscious these days so they're going for those ones and by the way these things are edible i believe i said it. they're made of, uh, of corn starch so you can actually eat them and they are they're uh, they both offer benefit but the if you want it uh, if you feel your package may be exposed to humidity along the way you don't want to use biodegradable because they will melt and by the time it gets to the other side they, uh, you you have 10 per section 10 percent of the protection that you had when you initially shipped it okay because it will just go down and down and down disintegrate and by the time you get to the other side, the other side pretty much no protection okay so you want to consider those two things also when it comes to using biodegradable watch for little rodents little rodents little creatures mice and rats they love these things <laughs> so if you store them at home or at the office or at a factory you'd be surprised how quickly these little guys they get they attract those little fellows because they, they smell great by the way and uh, it's one of the best, most nutrients, nutrient products they can uh, have. And to give you a story, we did have a bag of, the, uh, of, of these peanuts, biodegradable peanuts on the floor. And when they were sitting around, and we heard this squeaky thing going on. We didn't know what was going on. And we slowly followed that noise, following, and we traced it to the back of one of these bags. And there was a little guy, <laughs> fat as fat can be, and had <laughs> almost half the bag gone. So that gives you an idea. These things attract uh, those little creatures because they want to eat and they're looking for food, and they they smell great and they they will uh, they will come after them. Okay, that's another another. Uh, I won't say a negative thing because we all have the right to eat, but it, it, it's it's kind of a, a minus <laughs> to your product to carrying that product. Okay, again, if you health if you're health conscious or nature conscious. Uh, it's, it's something to consider if you feel your package is going to be nicely protected all the way nice and dry by all means use that yeah because they disintegrate right away they go back into nature it's just like as if putting bread on the floor they, they create no poisoning no damage to nature whatsoever i think maybe a little bit but not much the other ones no the other ones they do they do uh, uh they do they do take a long time to break down and they usually yeah they they require proper proper recycling okay and i think that's it yeah because we do have people asking about peanuts about bubble which one should i use which one should i use, uh, which one should I use or not use uh bubble is something that uh, is more reliable i say because it offers protection that protection doesn't fade doesn't shake all the way stays as you pack it it gets the other side perfectly peanuts again they can shake to the, allow your product to shake to shake through the box and going to positions where they can get broken along the way um, so it's a choice of yours but I, when when come when coming to one or the other I would take bubble 
I would use bubble. I wouldn't use peanuts, uh, uh, loose fill because again, this they're not as reliable. But if you feel again that your package won't dance too much in the box, as mentioned, by all means use loose fill. Uh, it offers a lot of protection. It's just like I said, you gotta be conscious of uh, be conscious of the fact that your product might make you, your product might make your way through the box and end up without any protection uh, on the box. Okay. And I think that's it. Uh, I hope this, this was helpful to you and uh, that it uh, lends you some uh, handy when you're doing your shipping. If there's any questions or comments, post them below. We'll address them for you. Um, also, subscribe to our channel. We always post videos on, on massaging your boxes, on packaging, on moving, on uh, all kinds of, all kinds of, uh, of topics. And we hope to... Uh, Lend you some help along the way, okay? And I think that's it. We'll look forward to seeing you next time, and thank you to seeing you next time, and thank you for watching, okay? Have a good day. Bye bye.